Welcome back to our channel. On June 28, 2024, Mona Farai's Mornrage, also known as Hajia For Real, was sentenced to one year and one day in prison by an American court for her role in a romance fraud case that originated in 2023 following her extradition from the United Kingdom. She had previously pleaded guilty earlier that year to charges including conspiracy to commit wire fraud, money laundering conspiracy, and receipt of stolen money. During the sentencing hearing, Montridge's defense team argued for a shorter three-month jail term, citing her status as a mother to an eight-year-old daughter and her lack of prior criminal record. However, the prosecution contended that a longer sentence was necessary to deter others from engaging in similar fraudulent activities. According to reports from Inner City Press, which closely monitored the case, Mornrage became emotional during the proceedings, expressing regret and shame over her actions, particularly in light of her role as a mother. The court was informed that over a period of six years, she had been involved in a scheme that defrauded 32 victims of a total of $1.4 million. The prosecution emphasized that Mornrage had established multiple bank accounts to facilitate the fraudulent transactions and had continued her activities even after the arrest and deportation of an alleged accomplice. They argued that her subsequent reinvention in Ghana did not absolve her of responsibility for her actions. In addition to the prison sentence, the judge ordered that Mornrage be deported upon completing her term. Her defense team requested that she be allowed to return to Ghana immediately after her release without being held in custody by ICE, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We just covered the sentencing of Mana Faze Montrage, also known as Hajia for Real or Mona for Real in Ghana. But she was sentenced on romance scam charges. We've covered the case from the beginning. She was extradited in and she pled guilty. Uh, her, her sentencing guideline was 37 months to 46 months. She wanted three months. Um, there was a big dispute in the sentencing uh, proceeding about whether a former boyfriend talked her into it or if in fact she'd had some of these bank accounts open before she even met him. There was allegations of abuse against the former boyfriend. There was an allegation of that a victim one who tracked her down to the Bronx, New York via her Instagram photos had in fact been catfished. That was the allegation that her image was used with the voice of another person. None of it was resolved. Judge Etkin took a break, and when he re and when he returned, he imposed a sentence of a year and a day. This will allow good time credit, and she was also uh, the U.S. consented to no ICE detention. She will go directly from the BOP facility. She's asked for Danbury, beginning January 29th. She will go directly to an airport and fly to Ghana. So it's kind of a it's a unique because I see a lot of people that actually go via ICE. But this is the case, this is the sentencing, a year and a day for Hajia for real or Mona, Faze, Montrage. Inner City Press, we cover the case from the beginning to the end. InnerCityPress.com. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, a request that was accepted by the prosecution. ICE, responsible for immigration custody decisions, considers factors such as flight risk, public safety concerns, and humanitarian considerations, such as medical conditions or caregiving responsibilities, when making detention determinations. Montridge's case gained widespread attention due to her previous prominence as a socialite and entrepreneur, contrasting sharply with the serious legal charges and the financial losses suffered by her victims. Thanks for watch and don't forget to subscribe comments like and share also.